So today I'm going to be trying out all of these Ethernet adapters, the development tool, a testing tool, and this weird prototype one. Turns out they're all compatible with the dev kit, so yeah. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a control test of my normal Vita 2K. So, test. So as you can see, normal speeds are 9.5, 19.5 megabits up and 4.4 megabits down. I mean backwards, 4.4 megabits up and 9.5 megabits down. Okay, those are my normal speeds on Wi-Fi. So next we're going to go on the dev kit. And I think the first one I want to do is um, the development tool. So I'm plug in the dev tool limited <laughs> one. This is easier said than done. Okay, so that's now plugged in. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to simply plug it in to this. Alright, when I plug it in you'll notice it lights up on the side. So now all you wanna do to connect to it is just go to settings. Network and Wi Fi settings. You want to go to save access point manually USB Ethernet and then just click connect. And it should show that icon in the top right. Now um, I can do tests. However, if I do a test, it won't work because it needs PSN access for some reason to do a test. So first go on Hankaku to spoof my version and then we can go. Okay. And what connection test this is on the development tool limited. I'm gonna get to see your speeds any second now. So immediately we see a massive improvement. We've got 2.26.1 megabits down and 8.8 megabits up as opposed to on Wi-Fi on my Vita 2K. I have only got 19.5 and 44 up. So that's a massive improvement already just using the uh, dev kit Ethernet. So, um, next I'm just going to try the, uh, prototype Ethernet. Um, now, I was doing this once before and there was a, seems to be a bug where you can't switch Ethernet adapters after connecting to one without rebooting the console. So I'm gonna go turn this console off and then I'll switch Ethernet adapters and I'll turn it back on. Okay, so now I've switched over. I'm gonna turn this back on now. Run Hankaku again. Okay, so now I want to open up um, the settings and now we'll connect to this Ethernet adapter instead, so we'll just run the Ethernet te and test. Okay. 
Again, it's quite it's about the same. It's 29.4 megabits up, 88.7 megabits up. So it's about the same values. So again, here's my free tail on Wi-Fi to compare against. So much faster. Um, so next, I'm going to try the test kit Ethernet adapter. Now this one's a bit of a pain in the ass to set up, but it also could potentially work on retail consoles as well. I uh, still so have a 1K to try it on. Um, so basically, I'm gonna plug this power in here, and then this part is the arm will plug on the end. You have to plug in through the um, PS Vita's official AC adapter. So this one basically. Um, plug that into this little side part, and then finally you plug it in to Ethernet. Yeah, this is actually a little pain, yes, but okay. So that's now done. Um, I'm going to just reboot the console again. Test this last one. Again, we have to run um, Hankaku first. I was about to try to test, but I remember it didn't work. Got PSN access, doesn't work, so. So on the test kit adapter, we've got, again, basically the same, 28.5 versus 88.8 .8 megabits up, and again, that's way better than this, I'll run test again on this one, so you can see, way better than on Wi-Fi, and then let me sign in to the PSN, try again. Yeah, so because this one's already signed in, um, sign out of the PSN network real quick. It doesn't like me. Um, man, we tell it to sign in then. Here we go now, it's working, so I'm going to do the test on this one again. This is on Wi-Fi. Again, now I've got even worse speeds on Wi-Fi for 8.1. Fluctuates a lot, before it was steadily. I saw on the dev kit with the Ethernet adapter, it was steady in 20. So that's pretty good, I'd say. Um, and one more thing I want to try is the dev kit itself on Wi-Fi. So I'm going to just unplug that. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to move the other one as well. Force it to go on Wi Fi. Just want to see maybe the Wi Fi adapter on the dev kit is better, also. So, this is Wi Fi on the dev kit, and we'll see if it works any better. Um, again, if they're able to sign in, let me sign out on this one. Sign out, and then I'll sign in the dev kit. 
And the way the, um, it's something it had takes to, you, know, you have to be signed in in order for this to um, do the network test, but yeah, it is what it is. That's just how they designed it, it's terrible. So on Wi-Fi, the dev kit speeds. Uh, um, CIO, the 21.2, before it was like 29.2, um, and it's at 3.4 megabits, so it's, Wi-Fi seems to also be better on the dev kit, but, yeah. So, if you're gonna get one of these, I recommend, um, getting this one, because it's most likely going to work on the retail, with Kex to Rex or something. The others only get moved with a dev kit or a prototype or something, but, yeah. That's all for this video, me testing Ethernet adapters out. Been requested a bit. Thank you all for watching, PSP.